Okay. Page 15. Flying by here. Be done with chapter one anytime, I'm sure. The invading armies knew how to profit by the madness of the Jews. They were soon found by the Jews to have possession of the two outer walls of their city. This alarm reached the heart of the factions and once more united them against the common enemy. But they had already proceeded too far to retreat from the effects of their madness. Famine, with its ghastly horrors, stared them in the face. It had, as may be expected, been making a silent approach, and some of the more obscure had already fallen before it. But even this did not annihilate the fury of faction, which again returned with redoubled fury and presented new scenes of woe. As the famine increased, the sufferers would snatch bread from each other's mouths and devour their grain unprepared. To discover handfuls of food, tortures were inflicted. Food was violently taken by husbands from wives and wives from husbands and even by mothers from their famished infants. The breast itself was robbed from the famishing uh, suckling as our Lord denounced woe to them, <clears throat> to them that gives suck in those days. It's going to really suck. This terror produced a new scene of righteous retribution. Multitudes of the Jews were forced by hunger to flee to the enemy's camp. Here, instead of pitying and receiving them, the Romans cut off the hands of many and sent them back, but most of them they crucified as fast as they could lay their hands on them till wood was wanting for crosses and space on which to erect them. Since, you know, they didn't take you down after you died, you know. You, they actually had to leave you up there like a scarecrow that draws crows instead. <laughs> to fall apart, and then maybe your relatives can grab, gather the bones. <laughs> Yeah. Behold, here thousands of those despairing Jews suspended on crosses round the walls of Jerusalem. Verily, the Lord is known by the judgments that he executeth. Yes. This did not suffice. Behold, 2,000 Jews who had fled to the mercy of their invaders ripped open alive 2,000 in one night by Arabs and Syrians in the Roman armies in hopes of finding gold which these Jews had or their enemies fancied they had, 
swallowed to carry off with them. <sighs> Titus, being a merciful general, was touched to the heart at the miseries of the Jews, and in person he tenderly entreated the besieger, the besieged to surrender, but all the answer he obtained for his tenderness was base uh, reviling. Uh, he now resolved to make thorough work with his with this obstinate people, and hence surrounded the city with a circumvaliation circumvaliation of 39 furlongs in length, strengthened with 13 towers. This, by the astonishing activity of the soldiers, was effected in three days. Then was fulfilled the prediction of our blessed Lord, Thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and keep thee in on every side. Ugh. All right, just at the end, bottom of page 15, I'm going to take a break because I want these videos to be shorter. <sighs> Anyhow, <clears throat> getting ready for the next one with another one. Mmm. All right.